ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of a conversation right now. Just so that you guys will know. I have noticed that since we came up with the Mega Sap Pack, there have been a lot of copycats. All of our Sap Packs, somebody has taken a bite out of and attempted to create their own. I got to turn the volume down. It's more in my ear than it is in yours. At least I hope. But I need the volume to be down there so that I can hear me and y'all can hear me. It's not a, um, a big problem, but it's not flattering at the same time. I just, you know what I don't like? That they take the credit for something that they didn't create. Now, there is nothing new under the sun, so nobody has an original idea. Not a single person on the planet, including me. Look, when I was 15 years old, turning 16, the David Letterman had Donald Trump on his show. Let's look for that, if you guys don't mind. I only have a couple of minutes because I have a consult in a minute, but I am definitely interested in this. Let me uh, shut this one off. Oh, this this is that type of YouTube. Hold on. Let's go back. I need... I don't need this. Okay, I see what happened. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I got to go back to this. And then... As soon as it pulls up, I got to stop it. See, probably going to be Wesley Clark or somebody. No, that's just him talking about capitalism. All right. Let's do this right here. Donald Trump. Guest on the David Letterman show. 1984. Stop listening. And it could have been 86 to 87, but I was pretty certain it was 84. See, that's 87, 2007. Mm, I was pretty certain it was 84, but see, it could have even have been... I could be wrong, no. It could have even have been before that you feel me okay it could have been before that oh look at that and he wanted to buy the world trade center so let's click here for a second he is just 33 years old he took his father's rather now this is it one second. Modest by current standards, real estate empire in Brooklyn and expanded it considerably. He now has an apartment for sale in a new Trump building called the Trump Tower going up on Fifth Avenue. There it is. You can buy this apartment, one floor of it, one whole floor of that building, that is, $11 million altogether. You, uh, you bought some prized properties at the bottom of the New York market in the 1970s. Uh, inner cities have been pure gold since that time. Why? Because replacement costs have just gone up so much? Well, no, not really. I had a great faith in New York. Primarily, our purchases have been in New York. And at the okay. about five years ago, New York was not considered very hot in cities. In you see, this is when I used to watch the news every day. My mother, it was a rule in our house that we had to watch the news. We had to know what was going on in the world. I'm going to tell it to you like it is. I don't fault her for that at all. And I'm very grateful to her that we had to watch the news every weekday. Every weekday. The weekends we were free. Free! <laughs> I still watched it on the weekends. And on Sundays. But I would also watch at the end of the evening news. We only had to watch the 6 p.m. news. The evening news. We didn't have to watch the late night news. But I would watch... Uh, what is it? Uh, Nightline. And after I'd watched Nightline, ladies and gentlemen, I'd turn to the David Letterman show. Which was after the Johnny Carson show. 
late night. Okay? And I'd watch that. And when I would, Conan O'Brien, all of them, know all of them names. We, we spent a lot of time together. But when I saw that Donald Trump video, the, the news was that he was filing for bankruptcy. Now, of course, people, hey, it's his company's filing. He was filing for bankruptcy. Shut up. Sorry. The news was that Donald Trump was filing for bankruptcy. It doesn't matter if it was his corporations. That was the news. That's what I focused on, is the statement made by the news. Even though it was false news, fake news, irrelevant news, I still focused on that. Because I could not figure out... Give me one second. I could not figure out how in the world... Pay attention. A billionaire could go bankrupt. My mind was saying, wait, you lose your first $100,000, something should tell you to stop. You lose $500,000, something should tell you to stop. You lose a million dollars, something should tell you something is wrong, you need to go talk to somebody because you need help. You lose $500 million, now you really got problems and you don't need to have no money at all, so you need to put that in a trust, get you a conservator, and might as well get yourself a spendthrift. Okay? That's how I was thinking back then. I couldn't understand how he could file bankruptcy and still remain a quote-unquote billionaire. Excuse me? How is that possible? <sighs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I spent all of those years trying to figure it out. Now, I didn't have anybody to talk to. That's why when Maxine Waters was teaching us about taxes and filing taxes, I paid attention. It wasn't until the 90s that I started picking up on it was how companies reported and what they didn't report and what they got credit for and thus credits. So now that we know that, all of our SAT packs come with credits that we acquired as a result of the Bureau of Public Debt and the forgiveness of debt and the guarantee from the government of the benefit for forgiven debt see look here's the thing and then i gotta go in a second when you um when you forgive a debt what a 1099c let me say it again when you forgive a debt with a 1099c what's the benefit for you doing it that they make it mandatory by law you have to fill out a 1099c if you have a debt Greater than $600. So what's the benefit to you for forgiving the debt? There must be a benefit. Well, the benefit is the credits, everyone. The benefits is the write-off, the reductions, the deductions, the ability to write it off, the ability to carry it forward. It's a benefit for the business. That's why they tell you business bad debts, businesses get more appreciation. Now, nobody's ever brought forth the issue of equal protection of law when it comes to a business and individual but you do have a sole proprietorship that's your equal protection of law so take advantage of it now wait 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 hold on now now that people are hearing me say this more in detail watch and see how everybody else is going to be attempting to provide credits with their packages oops again we're not People keep talking about we're trying to take something from them or we want their trust. We want control over their property. People, you don't have anything we want. We don't need your junk. I mean, your, your property. No, technically, I'm going to say it like it is. We don't need your junk. It's used. Why would we want something used? And then come take it from you? Why would we want to come take your junk? It's used. It doesn't make sense to me. It never made sense to me. The fact that people would imagine that. Look, we're a different type of company. We've said that from the very beginning. We are not like those other people that you ran into, those people who've taken your money and walked away with it. We've made sure that we've given back to you more than you gave to us, and all you got to do is do your taxes now. And you'll get everything you've ever given us back and then some. Shh, don't tell nobody. The last video that was done today gives you a document to go by. Oh, by the way, this is my song, okay, in the background. I created that. Anyway, now, 
I got to go. We'll be back to talk about some of these things. But I just had to talk to you all about the fact that a lot of people are copying and emulating what we're doing. You can go with them. We're not going to not going to encourage you to stick with Saka. Okay, we're getting ready to get off into something completely different. And we see that other people are doing it too. And I'm actually glad to see it. Whew, man, I'm glad to see it. We're getting ready to go into the tiny home business. But we're going to be working it out to where individuals pay for seven years. No monthly payment will be over $750. And hold on now. After seven years, you pay in tax credits or federal credits. Either of the two. And... It's paid off. It's yours. However, you will never own the land. What? You'll never own the land. You'll always own the property, but you'll never own the land. The same thing that's happening now. The reason why you won't own the land is so that it will stay under the nonprofit organization. Well, okay, no, 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 no. Shut up. It's going to be our way, not yours. This is our program. If you want to be a part of it, we'll tell you about it in the future. Don't ask. Don't inquire now because it's not available now. But we will let you know. The benefits are for the people. It ain't for us. That's why we are doing all the expense. We're paying for the property. We're paying for the land. That's us, not you. Unlike the banks, we're actually going to own the property. And when we give you a loan, you'll get to report it on your credit. Can you pay it off in advance? Can you pay it off before the seven years? No. No, 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 no. You cannot pay it off in advance. Not allowed. Can I sell it? You can sell it. Anytime after the seven years, anytime after the seven years, but you can't sell it to a bank. <laughs> We're going to let you guys know more about this in the future. Y'all just stay tuned. Oh, go read TTOPP.org. TTOPP.org. Top. TTOPP spells top. Dot org. The information's right there. All right. Hey, take care of yourselves. Talk to you soon.